Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, dream makers of the Divine Matrix, a fifth dimensional harmonic resonance. Time is of the essence, and it is time to spread your etheric wings and rise. Fly high into the light, transmitting your gold ray of purification and transmutation. We had another day of massive waves of gamma plasma frequency coming in directly from the great central sun, Hunab Ku. With these pulsing waves, we receive many new codes and creations of the quantum source library of Amenti. These are direct links to Shambhala, the temple of paradise. In this light, we are guided home through the gateless gate, releasing and resolving all that no longer serves us or humanity in this final purge and purification. With these intense currents flowing in, we had many activations all over the grids of Pachamama. We had a most powerful expansion and release in Haiti, manifesting as an M7.2 earthquake and many powerful aftershocks. These are connected with the Divine Masculine New Atlantis Consciousness. In the crown of Lemuria today, we had an M6.9 quake activating and opening the Rainbow Bridge in Gaia and all her children, as many more activations in the root chakra of Gaia in the South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands, home of the Coiled Serpent close to Antarctica. All three Dantians, the Holy Trinity, are fully open and activated for this great flowering of human consciousness. As we shift and transform into the new humans of the new earth, fully awake and fully aware, this is the great awakening of the Christ consciousness and Buddha consciousness within the heart and mind of our 144,000 ground crew angels of heaven on earth. Allow your awareness to travel deeper and deeper within, through all layers, all levels of perception, through the void and directly into Wakantanka, the great spirit. Keep rising, rising, rising into the holiest of holies, the sacred temple of the soul, star, spark. Aho! With this great shift that we are experiencing in all these massive earth changes, this is the embodiment of the Holy Spirit coming in, preparing Gaia and all her children through this quantum leap of consciousness into homo luminous, eternal beings of light. And if you watched our quick update, our transmission earlier today about this powerful earthquakes in Haiti and in Sandpoint, Alaska, and many activations again today in South Sandwich Islands in the mouth of the Great Serpent, the rainbow serpent of the new earth, we had so many powerful divine feminine energies flowing in with the Friday the 13th divine goddess energies. All day long activations from the base, the root, the root chakra, up through the seven chakras of Pachamama, through the Andes, up through Central America, and into the crown of Lemuria. We had one after another activation from South Sandwich up through El Salvador with a 4.1, one after another, up into Anchor Point, Alaska, 4.0. Haiti we, with the middle Don Tien, this is right by the Tropic of Cancer, connected with the Higher Heart Center with the 7.2 most powerful, then many aftershocks, 5.2, 4.1, 4.4, 4.2, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, South Sandwich up into the Alaska Peninsula. Many, many activations. We had over 151 N1.5 or greater earthquakes, most of these in these three portals. We also had one in Peru, 5.4 with the Council of Nine. This is the land of the Great White Brotherhood. We also had an activation, Pahala, Hawaii, in the heart of Lemuria, 3.9. We have the energy that's flowing through the Atlantean energy, the new Atlantis, divine masculine, through Lemuria, connecting the two hemispheres, the yin, the yang, the shakti, the shiva, the ego, the condor, come together in the middle, the sacred fire in the center. We also released a powerful activation earlier today from the sacred portal in the sacred river, titled Breathwork. Be sure to check that out. 444 flowing in. So many codes, so many synchronicities. 
day by day in every way i am getting better and better and with the power of my mighty i am presence i bring my world to perfection on this day and every day for i am the way the truth and the light this is the power of pure presence pure awareness now we're going to continue here with the current sabian symbols right now the moon is at 17 degrees 24 minutes scorpio the sun is at 22 degrees 38 minutes leo the current sabian symbol for the sun at 23 degrees leo a bareback rider in a circus displays her dangerous skill and the current sabian symbol for the moon at 18 degrees scorpio a path through woods rich in autumn coloring from astrologyweekly.com and now my sacred condor pull a card for you today from the tarot deck dreams of gaia from raven phelan and the card she pulled for you today is card 14 self the key words i am very synchronic identity self-realization self-manifestation center peace acceptance the key phrases establish a unique and individual identity be free of definitions and labels you have unlimited potential how has your past shaped you identity is fluid and changing who you are is for you to determine are you trying to fit with the wrong crowd know who you are who do you wish to become a path of loving expansion let go of a herd mentality think for yourself meaning the self card is the sixth of the reasons for being it signifies the importance of establishing a unique and individual identity that is free of definitions and labels and embraces unlimited potential there are elements within every society that do all they can to quash the independent the creative and the authentic because they profit in one way or another from doing so independent thinkers creative types those who defy tradition and convention and who perceive what is ethical and moral and what is legal as being two different beasts are people that threaten the status quo as a result we are indoctrinated we are told how to think told what is normal told what is beautiful and acceptable what is right and what is wrong those who disagree or seek to be independent or who just do not fit with society's definition of normal and beautiful are often met with fear anger contempt ridicule and even banishment and imprisonment independent thinkers can be considered radicals creative types seen as eccentric or crazy and those who defy tradition and convention as rebels and freaks all risk condemnation in one way or another yet time and time again we are told that we should embrace our differences be creative and strive to be authentic we are controlled via the media religious organizations and educational institutions and taught how to behave how to think what to believe and feel we are told what is normal and what is not and that we must strive to be normal normal is acceptable but what is normal it takes courage to defy family tradition and societal expectations establishing a healthy authentic self-identity is one of the most challenging tasks you will face in this lifetime because it requires a willingness to break free of labels and definitions that we not just others place upon ourselves it takes courage to say no to those who expect and sometimes demand that you say yes the self card represents stepping free of the labels others have bestowed upon us and redefining ourselves in a manner that is not restrictive or limiting it means having the courage to follow your own path instead of the path that's laid down by others who were you who are you who do you wish to become the self card poses these questions that you must first know who you are and how you were shaped by your past to be able to answer them to discover and know your true self is to undertake a journey of undoing being and becoming to find your center place where you are fulfilled at peace and accepting of all that you were are and will become and now we continue with an update from divine sister of the light sa smith welcome to the weekend energies and all these big energies keep rolling in bringing those high vibrational energies to you have you noticed the changes around you the feelings you're getting during your day the things you are now experiencing in the world around you how are you seeing and feeling your reality has changed immensely and it's only just beginning you are stepping into the true you as things begin to change drastically and noticing those changes is really the key to everything 
Glitches may increase, ascension symptoms change. You begin to understand it all in a much deeper way. Welcome home, light worker. Eight sleeps to go. Big energies equal big upgrades. Are you ready to make this happen? These energies coming in from the opposite side of the planet into Earth have been intensifying for months and months. The guides and messengers of Source want you to know these energies have been sent here by them through our galactic families. All these energies are for your greater and higher good. We were hit with some big energies so that you can use them to upgrade. Now is the time. There is no waiting. We are about to go into something amazing. Connect into you and find your mission messages. No fear. Fear is the soul paralyzer. This is all from the heart. Feel it within you. It's go time, Divine One. From a girl in the universe dot com. A quick update from Divine Sister of the Light Pamela Johnson. Mother Earth is expanding with energy, all plate boundaries. M8 East, Scotia Ridge, Antarctica, 100 strong aftershocks. M7, Alaskan Peninsula. M5.4, Mid Atlantic Ridge proceeds. M7.2 on land, Haiti, by 22 minutes. All frequencies are encoded with every activation we're witnessing upon the great lands of Mother Earth. Everything we're experiencing and witnessing, 1111 coming in, is all part of the divine greater plan. And we are part of this plan. And we helped create and architect this great plan for this great ascension and shift. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ramona Lappin, intense amplification since Wednesday night of diamond plasma light codes, photonic light, Platinum white ascension and cosmic rays, and continue to build and re encrypt our blueprints and realities at ever increasing speeds. A strong purification of the field and at a personal level, since Sunday time feels ever more accelerated. Powerful pineal and third eye, causal and crown chakra openings as we're deepening and clearing our connection to our higher identities, and God's source as all merges, unifies, blends, and synchronizes. One may experience headaches, head pressure, toothache, flu, frequency light upgrades, type symptoms, nausea, emotional releases, downloads, brain fog, tension, anxiety, expanded states of consciousness, reality feels surreal, all looks more crystalline, bright, timelines are shifting again and we're about to find out what we have created, yet all remains fluid and open as the future is written, decided as we walk our path. We're merging, synchronizing with the 12D Aura Earth Template. This has been becoming more and more prominent in meditation these past two weeks, which started on the 29th of July when a huge portal opened up, brighter, higher frequency plasma light codes. Also, our alignment to Andromeda is coming more and more online, realigned with the grids are sparkling in pastel, iridescent, plasma rainbow colors, getting ready. We're also having huge galactic support, all is coming together. I can feel the calm anticipation. Huge upgrades to the DNA and diamond plasma light body. Unification of multidimensional aspects. Gifts and abilities continue to build in strength. The truth arises from within. Secrets about to be revealed. We're releasing past memories and with it emotions may arise. Themes around self-worth, love, confidence, and doubt. We've got to go through it to come out the other end. We have to go through the sad to get to the happy. It's part of the cellular release that's happening. Feel it. Bring it up and out. Release. Rebalance. Deep breaths. Move on. Also, very important for us to truly forgive now, to leave the past behind so we can move on. Forgive ourselves and all others. We can't take the baggage with us. Just embrace all that arises and know none of it defines you. Yet all was necessary to learn the lessons we came in here for, to now know better. That is what it's all ultimately about. Allow it all to be released. The more you allow the clearing and healing process without resistance, the easier and quicker it goes. It's graduation time for many. We've passed the tests. Mission accomplished. Completion. Let's see what is next. But remember, we get to co-create the future consciously now. Plenty of water intake, rest, self-care, and nature, earthing, support. We got this. And remember, anything is possible, especially if you believe. And from Divine Brostar of the Light, Pars Kute, 
Earth is now going on a cascade ascent, ascension through the levels of the quantum state. It is clearing the planet of low frequency vibrations and tunes it to higher ultrasonic tones. This causes aches to Earth and in everybody as a signal of changes. There is a rapid influx of light and energies from creation contributing to vast changes on the planet. This change is a requisite for ascension. There is a delightfully positive future coming our way. Some are feeling the building energies of freedom and the higher dimensional consciousness of the fifth dimension. This can require the need to shift and let go of lower consciousness energies. There is much to be determined still as the process continues. It is being created in the process. When vacuum occurs, they need to be filled with other energies, and that is what's happening now. The other energies are higher love, not fear, joy, happiness, peace, abundance, and well-being. This is our future, and it is appropriate to claim it daily as part of our routine. We anchor in more of our I Am Presence, our God Self. Deeply connect with the Creative Source. We find that place in our hearts that needs the love and reassurance. We fill the vacuum. Our consciousness is rising. Humanity is seeking solace from the spirit within. Attempting to hold on to the old will no longer serve us. This is the great awakening. That which served us in the material world will become less significant. We have an amazing future to look forward to where we will be able to manifest anything we need. It will be far better than anything we have had, which we were attached to previously. Wishing you peace where there is sorrow, healing, love where there is fear. Understanding and compassion for ourselves and others, strength, courage, awareness, laughter, and lightheartedness. We stretch our minds so we know that we will get through this, and will all have been worth it. Within sacred love of one and in service, pars coute. And from Divine Angel of the Light, Ora Son, Ora Son, Greetings, be ready to receive the most alchemical energy you have ever felt before. The alchemy is in the air, you can almost taste it, breathe it in, let it blast you open, and receive what is meant to be for you. It will be very clear, crystal clear, and so it is Melchizedek, the alchemist, channeling Quan Yin. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusul. During this time it is crucial to take full responsibility for your own soul, own life, and own creation. Your free will and choice is predominant here, no matter what anyone may tell you contrary. You are a sovereign soul. You stand in your power as a master soul. You and truth are. Embrace your divinity. No one can tell you how to live your life, what to do and not to do, nor influence you in any form and way unless you allow them to. You are not responsible for anyone else, nor for the way they are choosing to live their lives, whether awake, aware, or asleep. They have free will and choice too, and they need to take responsibility for their own choices. If they wish to stay stuck in the old earth, that is their responsibility, not yours. Every soul is unique and has its own soul lessons to master, as have you, thus allowing them their own journey, their own pace, their own choices with love and blessings. If you choose to ascend, then know that all great lessons in soul mastery lie in the crucial ability to walk alone if need be, and to keep focused on the highest loving service and living one's highest soul calling and truth with great love and devotion no matter what comes. One is indeed walking in the company of heavens as a cosmic soul, the universal soul. You and truth are, not earthly bound, as you embrace all within you, even when still walking on earth, yet co-creating the new golden age in the new earth. You are anchoring it in. You are everything and everyone and all that is. During this immense time of transition, you will find yourself challenged in this regard. Yet at the very same time, you are always supported and always are being carried through with every single step you take into the unknown. We are stepping now totally out of the known into the unknown. Yet there lies the immensity of having transcended or rather outgrown the old humanity, all which has been before and the old earth, and now reborn into the totally new and as yet unexplored, unknown, with a sense of adventure, curiosity, awe, and wonder, inspired from deep within, and filled with the fullness of the divinity which abides within you, and the infinite power of love. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Sydney Campos Everything is speeding up. I've felt the last 48 hours shift so much momentum into place, 
while also my body is processing light faster than ever before, more information streaming in, dream time felt like traveling through so many different realities, a workout more than usual, massive clearing of early imprints, releasing mother plus father wounds, cleaning DNA, alchemizing our biology, profound clearing through unconscious layers of energy field that are still at some level siphoning power to them, and the survival identities born from these early imprints. We can choose to rewire our operating systems. In sessions lately, I've seen new energy fields overlaying lower dimensional fields. It seems some sort of inherent upon incarnating into the physical. But our higher dimensional fields are now here accessible to integrate. They appear as grids just above the field we are most accustomed to orienting. And I was shown in a reading I was facilitating yesterday that I am an interdimensional transit agent kind of like the intergalactic TSA. The guide showed me a, at a kiosk stamping various beings' passports to move between dimensions, assisting them in meeting energetic requirements along the way. I saw the message for many months that I am here to assist walk-in souls coming in from higher dimensions into human form, and I sense it's going to get really fun soon as more of them come into Earth over the next month and for the rest of this year. For those of us already here who have been paving the way, anchoring higher dimensional light into the Earth grid our entire lifetimes, it's time for us to step even further out of the closet, to stop trying to be understood. This world will never understand us. That's not the point. We learn to focus on that illusion to survive our families and society, to pretend like we too were asleep, to fit in. No more. Full magic out of the closet, please. Our soul family is coming back in droves, ready to play. They can only feel us when we are being ourselves completely. I did a powerful practice on releasing all the visions that aren't mine and reclaiming the ones that are. I surrender all that was never mine in the first place. The visions that were born of other people, I was trying to imitate even on subtle levels to fit in no more. I choose to love myself so much that I commit myself fully to my soul's highest callings, no matter what. How about you, Sid, from SydneyCampos.com Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology Venus and Virgo, Quincunce, Jupiter, Retrograde, and Aquarius Mercury and Virgo square Ceres and Gemini. With news of loss and trauma and pain across the planet, at times it's difficult not to worry. The mind feels full of information that seems unpalatable and indigestible, and we've already got enough on our plate with personal daily duties. Put your attention where it's needed. Discern what is useful to know and file away for safekeeping. Make careful choices as to what to watch, read, and listen to so that you have room to breathe. Given the above, the connection between Venus and Jupiter may mean we're yearning for joy, hope, pleasure, happiness, and yet it dances out of view every time we look. There can be a tendency towards excessive behavior and an effort to make everything feel right. The trick is to find joy in the little things. A phone call with a friend, fresh breeze blowing through an open window, a tidy room, a ticked off to-do list, a healthy treat. You're as lucky as you believe yourself to be. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin243, Blue Solar Night. The number 9 is called Solar and its keywords are Realizing, Intention, and Pulse. The ninth day of a wave spell is always intense, as it is full of energy and very powerful. Fasten your seatbelts. For this number of intention means that whatever you want, you can get. If you can work with this powerful energy, we all try to use our intelligence, but how often do we consider using our willpower? Surprise yourself today and wield your will, and with intention you will get what you need. Today is blue night, which represents dreams, abundance, and intuition. It's a perfect day for dreams to come true, because when you combine the meaning of the number with the day, the result is intention, is abundance, or dream realizing. My only advice is be careful what you wish for. Today has great power to make things happen. Be sure to go after what is good for you, not what you want necessarily. The guide today is the blue storm, which represents change. This can only be a good thing if you want to make your dreams come true. A guide that symbolizes change is very appropriate, although this energy can be a bit disruptive too, so keep on your toes. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio. Blue Solar Night, Kin 243, 
14th of August 2021, pulsing abundance. 14, 8, 20, 21, equal 27, equal 5, 8, 5, equal 5, 13, equal 5, 4, equal 9, day codes, 14, media, promotion, publicity, recognition, 27, power, leadership, command, 5, freedom, change, transformation, liberation, 9, endings, destiny, humanity, grace, service, the month, year codes, 8, abundant, infinite source flow, 5. Freedom, Change, Transformation, Liberation. 13. Goddess, Cosmic Consciousness, Natural Lore. 4. Foundation, Form, Earth, Angelic. Another date with destiny for realizing our divine dreaming. Day 9 in the Blue Eagle Wave Spell where we are being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture, the divine plan for humanity, so that we can create it, envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet as our visionary powers and third eye are awakened and activated, it is time for a mass awakening of humanity. Today we are using our intention to pulse out the biggest dream vision that the eagle has been showing us in order to manifest it. Tone of creation, soul or tone nine in the spiritual realm, action realizing, power pulse, essence, intention. The ninth day of blue eagle wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization, visualizing what we want to manifest and holding that grand vision in our consciousness, which assists us in making our great dreams come true. You are the humanitarian whose dreams unfold a larger pattern of our new world. What dream are you dreaming into reality? absolutely beautiful expansive creation codes today dream big precious star blossoms infinite abundance is flowing your way today's question is what is my greatest vision to pulse forth in order to realize my grandest dreams abundant blessings rainbow dreamers in la keka la kin christina white magnetic world bridger kin 66 kin 243 blue solar night the mantra, the code for today is, I pulse in order to dream. Realizing intuition, I seal the input of abundance. With the solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of self-generation. And on this day of powerful activations, transformations, and transmutations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. And I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission we rely on our monthly pledges on Patreon and our donations for our daily living expenses. So I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Carly Brainerd, for your pledge and support on Patreon. Thank you very much and welcome to our tribe of the Eagle and Condor. If you'd like to support us with a monthly pledge, you can do so at whitegoldeagle.com or go to patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Barbara Schwerer, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. We appreciate all of you and your support. 37 into 73 coming in right now. Heaven on Earth. Feel into that energy and anchor it deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you could do so at our PayPal link at egolovecondor.com. And I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems and other beautiful works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our Pleiadian Bro Stars and Sisters of the Light and then powerful activations from our Huna Bro Star of the Light, Lee Parade. Pleiades 1 Messages, August 14, 2021. P1 Calling Terrans for Origins Recognition, Attention for Calls and PVSE-SDE. Greater Balances Are Reached. 
Nevic waves continue to spread. Astral confraternities in progress. Conflicts in astral environments are divinely nullified. PVSC protocols actualized. New frames installed. Liberations in etheric environments initiated. MID escapes keep decreasing. Galactic scouts are activated. Nevic disciples spread. Projectors for non++ aimed. 84% non-regressive. Projectors for non++ aimed and in reverberation. 84% non-regressive. Special angelics pierce through denser layers for liberations. Temporarily under transmission. Pleiades 1. Supporting active missionary channels from DisclosureNews.it and from Divine Huna Brostar of the Light Lee Parare Living Light Bliss Infinite Echo Hypercube 4D Source Connect 24 Cell Ethernet Tetrahedron Stacking Pentagon Pentagram Zip Code Tree of Life Interdimensional Galactic Tech 64 RNA DNA 8x8 Fractal Grid Hyperdimension phase shift, plasma tornado, star body, charge projection, vortex gravity, dodecahedron embedding, compression implosion, rhombic dodecahedron, ubiquitous spinning, cube octa, seven spheres, tethered soul, cosmic Christ consciousness, liquid gold, love alchemy, self-healing, unpacking aura, Holy Grail, Fusion Blood, Dragon's Breath, Jedi Avatar, Angelic Light Language, Caduceus, DNA, Merkaba, Metagalactic Core, Eye of Sahara, Impulse, Time Marker, Seals, Throne of Honor, Crown Bows to Heart, Epoch, Eighth Sphere, End Times, Density Threshold, Crossover, Christ Impulse, Transfiguration, Heart Gateway Through Abyss, Black Star Reset Memory, Parallel Breakaway Civilizations, Soul Frequency Matters, Ethics Morals Initiation, Resurrection Gnosis, Footno, Pentagon Timeline Hack, False Ether Mirror Realm, Sphere 4, Earth Mineral Ritual, Inverted Species Metaphysics, Mankind Humanity Transhuman, Fear Coercion Bioweapon, Spectre Eighth Sphere Nanobot Booster Severed Soul Graze Us in the Future Failed the Initiation Transhuman Deformed Antichrist Impulse Preying on Humanity And with that, beloved beings of light, we thank you for joining us today and coming here on this great mission for the ascension of all humanity. So keep rising in the honor and the glory of the Holy Spirit and keep reaching for the stars and beyond, eyes to the skies while feet firmly anchored on the ground, as you walk gently your sacred path with heart, surrounded by the protection of the royal dragon lineage, from Kunlun Mountain, through Master Qingfeng Dao Shi, pure wind man of the Dao, beloved Tolku that came back into this realm to assist humanity, and all beings of light in this great ascension, this great awakening, this transformation from physical to rainbow body, indestructible diamond light. Have a most beautiful and blessed awakening journey, 3333 33 flowing in, 6-6 six, six portal, 6 dimensional energy coming in, activating our deep core, the core within the core, connected directly to the bundle of hiss in the center of the heart. May the Great Spirit shower down upon you infinite abundance, joy, bliss, and love on this day and every day. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.